things. This has no purpose other than just to make me smile. <laughs> Listen to this. <laughs> All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Before we get to the rest of today's video, we have to thank today's sponsor, which you all know and love, and that is Simply Safe. Simply Safe is an easy to use, totally customizable home security system that focuses equally on the most up to date tech and reliable, relationship focused service team. If you've been feeling worried about safety, been putting off dealing with it, or you just can't wait another minute, Simply Safe makes it really easy to secure your home. You just order it online or over the phone, it's delivered right to your home, and you set it up yourself within an hour. From there, your home is professionally monitored 24-7, and if anything happens, they'll make sure the police get called. They've got sensors to cover every window, room and door, plus lots of great extras like water sensors, temperature sensors, and HD cameras. It's all really easy to use, and you get around-the-clock protection for just 50 cents a day with no contracts. They've even won US News & World Report's Best Overall Home Security of 2020. Now, you guys have heard us talk a lot about Simply Safe on this channel. I've talked about it plenty, installing it in my house as well as my rental house in Florida. But one of the things I wish they had was a better outdoor camera because running the wires, you know, to a power source, like that takes time. But now they do. And it's their brand new outdoor camera that is rechargeable. There's no wires at all and it has a 140 degree angle of view. And of course, it's 1080p. I've been blown away by this camera. It is so easy to set up. It's a matter of just mounting it on the wall and it's done. And that has made it so much easier to set it up in various parts of my house because I don't have to worry about if there's a plug nearby the camera to plug it into a power source. It's rechargeable, so I don't have to worry about it. We've been working with Simply Safe for years now and we've been continuously impressed by how easy it is to set up, how easy it is to use, and the incredible peace of mind we now have. If something happens, we're getting it on camera and the police are gonna come. Take 20% off your Simply Safe security system and your first month is free when you sign up for the interactive monitoring service. Visit simplysafe.com slash savage garage to learn more. So guys, with all that being said, check the link in the description down below. Get yourself a Simply Safe system if you don't already have one. I mean, I've got one in my house. I have one in my Florida house. Randy has one in his house in Maryland, as well as the Porsche Tower in Florida. I even, <laughs> I even got Rachel to buy one. She watched one of our last ads and she bought a system. Everyone a part of the Savage family has a Simply Safe system, and we all love it. So don't waste any more time. Check the link in the description down below, and I promise you're not going to regret it. Talk to you guys soon. Yeet. Back at the Mischief House, Civic that we need to make fast still, Lolvo, AMG, and then it's a Rachel. How's your yard, Rachel? Because everyone seemed to have an opinion about it the last time. I was trying to be more like economical and stop wasting all this money and work because just sitting home watching the deer eat everything within yeah. a day. But I was like, never mind, just put the mulch down and trim the bushes. And they took that as like, don't do anything. Of course, today is not the day that they have mowed. Yeah. But I don't care. Somebody else said I look like a homeless person in front of my <laughs> million plus dollar house, but that's fine. So we're waiting for Randy. Um, you guys have really wanted to see more content of the Audi as well as we have something cool new to show you. It's something that Randy has made, I think only one Instagram post about other than the delivery, which he made a couple posts about. By the way, folks, so we just came off of Savage Rally and you guys are gonna see that footage very soon. In fact, the next video is gonna be the, like our launch and everything from it. All the cars made it, which was incredibly surprising. Pagani had one small issue, but regardless, like everything was great. And you're gonna see that, like I said, starting the next video. We're just waiting for Randy. Oh my God, he drove the F100. Oh my. Oh my god. To get in my garage, we went like that. That was so cool. It's called a fixed front rear. I'll tell you. Yes! The vice grip window. That is amazing. I need another set of vice grips so I can open my window on the other side. Literally was on the car the whole time. I said, don't ever fix this. Don't ever do anything. I want it just like that. Yep. I 
got this truck, I wanna say it's been a year and a half, maybe. I was in the desert, we were racing that weekend, decided that we were gonna hang out for an extra day. And this kid comes by barreling around along at about 100 miles an hour in this truck when it was totally resto, you know, it was, it was, it was, it looked like a rat rod. Yeah. So, you know, drippy paint, the whole nine mm -hmm. yards, no bedsides, just the suspension going like this, but gorgeous. I loved it. Yeah. So I told the guys, go chase him down and bring him back because I want to buy the truck. Bought the truck, drove it around for a little while. I said to Jared, I said, you know, this truck is really cool. First of all, it's a U.S. Navy truck. There's the plaque. Dude, that's awesome. It's a 1966 F-100. So okay. it's obviously a commissioned F-100 yeah. Navy truck. The track of it is now yeah. much wider if you look at it from behind. There's, There's a little something missing there. A lot there. There's a whole bed missing. Essentially what happens is in most off-road racing is that all the fans and cooling fans are going to go back here because you don't want the dust to get all collected right. up in there. So all the cooling fans go back here and this is the fuel cell. Okay, yeah. You got a spare tire and then also it does that. Oh, so you got and actually LS1 F100. So is this an LS1 motor? Well, it was until we decided to upgrade it. So what does it have in there now? LS3 full-blown trophy truck race engine. But you got to you gotta tell all the fans here so what the significance six, so of that we is. We race 6100 class spec trophy truck. And this is at SVC? At SVC. Okay. So the difference between a full-blown unlimited and a spec, these are basically sealed turnkey race engines. They basically have to go through a protocol to make sure that they are legitimate and can mm -hmm. do this. So these run around 500, 550 horse. Okay. This is a little tuned up. It was sent over. We have a little bit of tuning done, but this should be about 600 right now, comparative to the, I think it was 245 it had. And it's got full suspension, king suspension. I think it's got uh, three O's or I think those are three O kings up front. These are four O's in the rear. All the caging and everything else was re-welded and, and, and done. The suspension arms were done. I put a curry rear end on it so it's nice and strong. Okay. Um, you know, you can see the fabrication pieces that we did. This yeah. is custom, all this is custom. Nothing nothing on this is made for this truck. I really wanted a Hoonigan style, you know, just evil satin black. Mm -hmm. with, and then Jarrett looked at me and said, we're gonna do the wheels orange. And I said, all right, let me see them. And, and you know, I, I was kind of against in the beginning, but now it's made the truck what it is. We're gonna hopefully take it out to Savage Off-Road, play okay. around with it for a little bit you know, in November. Um, I'll have that in the rally car and stuff, and we'll have some fun. I love the California plate you still have on here. Yeah, it's actually his plate. Oh, that's his plate from the it guy you bought it plate, from. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Could you show me the interior on it? Sure, there, what I saw... interior? <laughs> <laughs> so let's open this guy up. Oh yeah, here we go. We got a few automator gauges. I mean, that's an, so it's got a simple battery disconnect. Okay. You know? It will turn it on, you got the, you know, got your primer, your ignition, and your fuel pump, and then you just kick it over. Starts right up like a beast. Jeez. Super reliable. It's got air conditioning, so yeah. we can flip on the air. Oh, nice. Yeah. You know, I love all of these little touches, and you know, you'll have to forgive my ignorance, but are these pieces from the original F100? No, or are these custom no, made? no. This is this is vintage air. We okay. just added this in. You could. This is all. This is us. Okay. Yeah, he did some, the original owner did some welding and stuff. We just cleaned it all up a little bit. And uh, what engine management system does it run? It's running TCI Automotive. Throw it on race gas, you can do you know, oh, whatever okay. you want. And it runs on what right now? 93? 93. Oh, perfect. Yep. So you can just take it to a gas station like a normal car. Fill That's it great. Up. Yep. Yep. <laughs> This has no purpose other than just to make me smile. <laughs> I mean, this is that's what this truck is. When I told them, I said I wanted the death proof look. Yep. <laughs> now you need to go back and do a flash to sure. him driving both the Nova mm -hmm. and the Challenger in death proof. Yeah. And I want to get the duck. Yep. Yep. You the, know, duck. the duck. I really want that. Yo, know, just so you know, I can't see sh behind me for the most part. I get the little <laughs> rear window. The cam in this thing? That's not a road. Right? So all of that clicking noise, that's the suspension, right? Yeah, it's all, all the clicking is the valves inside the shock. Actually, if you don't hear it, it's a problem. Oh my god. I found a place to put the walkie in the, the panel gap for the one bolt that isn't screwed in. 
Like that'll well, fit then. real nice there. Back at the warehouse in Maryland, the old 420s here. This thing hasn't been driven in God knows how long. My S65, we got Rachel C63, and then we have the mobile billboard. Let there be light. And here's the Audi, the race car. GTC, Black Series, Huracan, Anna's Porsche, the Earth, the Evo. There's a lot of stuff here. Could you tell me what the part was that broke on this? Because everybody was wondering what the small little piece was. If I'm not mistaken, you guys correct me if I'm wrong, it was a simple throttle control. So that piece was fine. It wasn't clipped in properly. Like it didn't, you know, when you clip something in, it goes like, so it wasn't fully clipped. So it came on and it broke the piece. So it was a, essentially a drive-by wire module that broke and it was a $200 part. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel. I just realized this now. The car's got R triple eights all the way around. That is awesome. your second gear too. That's why I fell in love with the Groovy Rally cars. That is the definition of why I fell in love with the Groovy Rally cars. I'm speechless. I, I mean, I'm, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't have anything to say. Just, holy sh So what, what didn't you expect? You don't expect the things you expect to come true sometimes. Right, yeah. So I'm gonna swap with Rachel. She's gonna ride in the Audi now because I wanna get her reaction, her actually driving in a rally. I wanna see her reaction in this. I'm sure she'll enjoy it. So I'm gonna drive her C63. We got a GoPro in there to get their reaction. This will be a lot of fun.
unless you're turning left, Randy. You still turning left? All day long, baby. So many buttons. It's a lot of buttons. What'd you think? Um, we are going to have so much fun. But not me as a co-pilot, because I have never been a navigator, because the one time I tried so that my navigator could drive in a straight section, yeah. I threw up in my helmet. So I cannot read directions <laughs> while we're going fast. I don't, that, think anyone I, don't know, I don't know what the hell that is. What well, um, yeah. this was a long time coming, too. It runs so great, too. That's what's so great about it. So what's the story behind well, this, this is one? A, this is a replica of the 1985 winning Audi Quattro in Group E Rally. <laughs> Group B, the scariest thing to happen in the woods since ghosts were invented. These were the greatest cars of all time. They were ridiculously overpowered, super light cars, which is, this is exactly what this is. A ridiculously overpowered, super light car. It's so much fun to drive. You know, it's not something you want to drive every day. It's not sure. daily by any stretch, but it is a lot of fun. Um, and it's something that I really wanted. I wanted a real throwback to group b and this was the car i've always wanted so five cylinder set about 700 horse what does it weigh sequential oh sub 2000 pounds oh it's that's it's, it's yeah. so light <laughs> it's super light i mean everything on it's soft There's yeah nothing to it. when did you commission this to be done and who it was did a, it? i commissioned a groupie rally car a groupie groupie garage with alec it took i don't know about that eight months nine months with everything with considering with covid it's pretty amazing this is a full scratch build i mean from from the frame up yeah and the frame did that come from an audi quattro or is this completely custom no it's an audi quattro that's been literally shortened to make the short wheelbase if you notice, there's a lot of similarities between this mm -hmm. and baja off-road racing okay so if you watch like when you watch the baja 1000 you see all these people out there right along the edge of this you know mm -hmm. and these trucks flying at 100 miles an hour same sort of thing it's that same sort of feel it's it's, it's a romantic racing period and i that's why i love baja racing so much it's so much fun it's so intense there's a reason why you know when guys like bj baldwin iron man the 1000 baja 1000 mm -hmm. you are really you know you're in your zone it's you're it's a it's a it's a stamina test to see if you can do this this is all about stamina this is muscling a car around going around corners at tremendously high speeds mm -hmm. and doing all that i will not be doing it quite at those speeds but i'm going to have some fun with this and we are definitely going to take this off road and go do all the fun things that it's meant to do there's a lot of really cool pieces on this just notice you've got porsche brakes on it yep that's yep, awesome. And absolutely. then what are some of the pieces on the inside? Could you show me the inside of this absolutely. car? Well, it's basically very simply designed. I mean, you got an e-brake. And that's for, for staging? For staging, for cornering, if you need a little bit of slide, whatever. It's also, you know, it's also your e-brake. Sure. <laughs> um, sequential shift. Everything is done with gauges and switches. And what's that it's box over on the right? That's that is for a, the navigator? That, that... This one, yeah, that's the, that's the um, terror trip. So that's the old school style of timing. Okay. Stage timing, you know, when you have to be at a certain place at a certain time, crossing a certain threshold. So that way you know you're on time. You know, the body weighs nothing. This is all. Yep. I mean, the door weighs absolutely nothing. You can see the inside here. It's basically. Yeah, yeah you've got the bespoke um, door handle there to open yep. it. Absolutely. All that is all you need. Yep. <laughs> And I love that little strap there mm -hmm. to hold the door there. Like, I never noticed yeah. that before, but that, that's a cool so way to do with, that. So the way you can do it is to close your doors and do it that way. That's <laughs> awesome. You also changed the color. Originally this car was yeah, white and yellow. Car is the, originally the race car is in yellow. I wanted orange because you know how I feel about yellow. <laughs> uh, yeah. But I really liked it. I, I love the idea of doing an orange. Look at this thing. I mean, it's gorgeous. It is. Talk about mechanical coolness. Yeah. Yeah, five cylinders are cool motors. They make a sound that no other car does. And that, it's just a little turbo. Just a little one. One of the things I noticed about this, and <laughs> you know, you don't feel it while in the passenger seat, but folks, the exhaust runs by your feet here as the passenger. 
Like it goes through the firewall and comes through <laughs> all the way down <laughs> and right through there. That is so cool. <laughs> What are some of your favorite parts about it? About the car? Yeah. <laughs> Everything. I mean, it, you know, in fact, you've got your trans coolers coming out the back of this thing with this giant, ridiculous wing. I mean, it's ridiculously awesome. The, the non-centered exhaust. Yes. Why? It's almost centered. <laughs> no, it's almost, but they never were. You know, they never were. The ventilation, the wide, the, you know, the wide body, everything is functional in this car. This passes through tons of air. Yeah, I just noticed this. This is a complete pass through. This just, yeah. <laughs> Somebody decided that that's going to make that much more aero. Cut out so many holes in the hood to allow for heat. Yeah. It's just, I mean, there's no point even having a hood at this point. Everything is replaceable. That's the best part. All this, it's just rubber. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Nope. I have parts for everything. So I hope you guys really enjoy this. This is, this is really a labor of love for me. Yes, other people labored on it, but it was a labor. <laughs> It was a love for me to be able to do this. What other groupie rally car is next? I already know what I'm getting, but let's see what you guys think. If you guys want to talk about groupie rally cars or any kind of rally car, tell me what you guys think should be next. Thanks for watching. Stay savage. Be a badass rally car kind of guy and stay savage, people. This is my new house. You can't see it yet. Thank you very much. <laughs> House update number two. I filmed some of this when the walls were a completely different color, but now everything's white and it looks a lot better. Don't do it. Oh, jeez. That will get abused. Yep. Oink. Try not to move the towel because I get very pain here. Got it. Wow. Wow, does it look a lot better? That is nice, man. It's all white. Are you gonna remove any of that weird... Uh... No, we're actually gonna... I mean, I guess if you put art on the wall, it'll look a lot yeah, better. Yeah, well, once you put the door in there and all of that, and I'm also changing all the fixtures and everything, so... Mm, yeah, I got this Ooh, I didn't know you had a stair like a staircase over there to go outside. Yeah, that's, that goes out to the pool. Oh. Yeah. How brothers are just starting on the landscaping. I guess they'd worked on the front a little bit. Okay. So are you changing the tiles here? Are you keeping it the same? No, uh, this is all staying the same. This yeah. is gonna get cleaned up, grouted. It actually doesn't burn your feet, which is nice. Oh, that's summertime. That's great. Yep. And I have to have I'm having that whole fascia replaced. Okay. Because it's wood and everybody does PVC now, so Hmm. That'll be good. All the railings and everything will be repainted. Now, I gotta tell you, I, I love this. The integrated grill and kitchen oh, area the there. Kitchen, yeah, that's gonna be the best. It's all brand new, untouched by human hands. You said this house was built for entertaining? The, the guy who, who bought the house from the original owner decided to put on the huge addition and he was gonna entertain tons and tons of people, but he never did. All this nice grill here, kitchen. And all this stuff hasn't been used. And then that's awesome. You got some um, tables back there. Or so, stumps or something. <laughs> this is a part of a tree conservatory. They actually got in a lot of trouble. Oh. Trying to cut back trees and they put in a playground or something. Yeah. So they didn't know what to do with the stumps. The, comp the county wouldn't do it. So they made tables out of them. Now, what the hell am I going to do with them? I don't know. I'm going to figure out something to do with them. Comment below if you know what we should do with them. Can't do anything that's gonna disrupt the, the natural ground, but we're allowed to have, it's part of our property. We're just not allowed to do certain things. Who's that? So. Oh, oh, hi. How are you, Anna? Good, good, how are you? Doing fine. Randy was just giving me a tour of the place with the new walls and it's really nice. Nice pile of bricks, huh? Mm-hmm, a little bit. <laughs> well, nice pile of stucco. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, stucco. Who wants to see baking, savage bacon oh, or yes. savage sweets? That'll come out of here. I can see that we could make a set out of this. Put a little soundproofing on the walls here and there, and yeah, it'll be perfect. So psyched. He said put a little soundproofing on the walls, and I turned the corner. I'm like, good luck with that. Hello. Good luck with that. <laughs> that, that, that. I never knew that biking stoves were, or stoves, this is not a stove, I'm so 
tired. I didn't realize they're so shallow. Yeah. Like for such a big fridge. Right, such a big and then yeah. it's like, yeah. yeah. It kind of sucks a little, but it's a Viking. Viking is awesome. Why do you keep carrying this around? This is like your trophy. I, could, I couldn't take it on the plane because I didn't want to put it in my the suitcase. So then I threw it in there so it would drive back. I don't know who's You're just going to carry this around? No, I'm going to make it one of those magnetic thing, art pieces that just spin because do you know how expensive this is? I don't know, but it caused a lot of damage to my car. God, it look, it's just parked and made fire probably. Yeah, and like see where it's oh, like yeah. smooth wow. because it got stuck pinned like this. So Jeez. that and the sound it was making. Oh. I got it all on video. And you can see where I'm dodging everything. And then this you don't see until it's like way too late. Because oh. it, was, it was sitting on the road like this. So it's, you know, the tiniest profile. So like that so you can't see and then it gets caught under the car this way hooked under there and just uh, tore a bunch of wires which I learned to solder so I could fix it no problem yeah now, now I have a check engine light though so it's fine it's fine everything's fine and it's smashed up my front bumper which is only like fifty two hundred dollars it's fine that's coming up on Savage Rally like you'll see that all we've got it all on video but that'll be coming up the next few videos is that a spoon? There's a giant spoon. Would you like a spoon? There's a spoon <laughs> in my <laughs> yard. No, oh, no, <laughs> it's in pretty good shape. Maybe I'll wash it. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll just throw it out. <laughs> the spoon. Comment below what Anna should do with the spoon. <laughs> <laughs> a spoon. I need a spoon. <laughs> can you cut to that when he does that movie? Yeah, I can. You know what I'm talking about, right? Excuse me, I need a spoon. <laughs> Well, it is grand, Randy. It really is quite grand. When I drove by the other day and nothing was here except for the SVJ was parked right there, just sticking out. It's ominous. Yeah. You just, it was like, holy sh <laughs> Like, somebody really, really cool lives there. Also, so of all the vehicles to park right in the front, that makes sense. Perfect. Actually, any car looks really good park that <laughs> It's kind of cool, just put a groupie rally car behind a Hummer. Mm-hmm. kids full mm -hmm. of shit and the channel's only doing good because he bought an iPhone no which was a, a, a requirement for me to come and manage all this Where bullshit are you posting that? I don't know probably just gonna record it on my phone like I do and never post it anywhere ever that's not okay. going on our Instagram Rachel <laughs> oh yeah going right now. no don't don't you dare so comment below so I'm a diehard Android fan and the reason is because I find that the Android phones typically are better productivity devices as opposed to the iPhones, which are the better phone, but unfortunately there's a lot of things that you can't do the same way you would do like on a Mac computer or whatever um, on an iPhone. You know, there's a lot of workarounds and small things like that. So the reason I have an iPhone is because everyone from the Savage family was like, you need to get an iPhone. And it was a running joke when we hired Rachel that a requirement of hiring her was I got an iPhone. So I got an iPhone. But I hate it. It was not I a joke. It. It was I hate it. Serious. I hate this phone so much. And the reason why is not because it's a bad phone. It's just all the things that are one button on my Android phone are three buttons on this. So comment below, Apple or Android. I have a feeling I know which way the poll is going to go. But for all my Android people out there, you know, fight with the Apple people in the comments. Because there is nothing I enjoy more than watching Android and Apple people fight. <laughs> nothing I enjoy more. <laughs>